Hey, what is up guys? This is Brett here from brettdev.com and today in this video I'm going to talk about the big differences that I see between expats who come to Thailand and remain broke for years after year after year and the other expats that I meet in Thailand that are very successful, you could say. Not necessarily super wealthy, but make enough money to live a really, really good life, have a really, really good retirement, or you know, build a really good, um, solid income from out here in Thailand. Now, probably as you already know, Thailand has a really, really low cost of living, which means you can live out here really cheaply. However, if you're coming to Thailand, if you want to become an expat, um, you may not necessarily want to live cheaply forever, okay? A lot of people come out here because the low cost of living basically enables them to kind of bootstrap or start an online business, particularly younger people, older people as well, um, but it creates a lot of opportunity. I'm, I think I'm going to start calling Thailand the land of opportunity because the advantage you get from living in a place that is so cheap is absolutely amazing. It frees up all of your time. You can live on a really low um, monthly income. You have really low expenses and you can use your free time to start an online business or to start a business, create more money to improve your life. Okay, so that's why a lot of people come here. Now on this channel, I've covered so many different ends of the spectrum. I've filmed cheap, low budget apartments for people who are just getting started, um, who are just moving to Thailand, want to keep their costs down. And I've also, if you followed the channel for a while, seen that I've filmed some like massive, luxurious apartments. Now I'm able to do that because I have friends that are, have just moved to Thailand. Um, I'm always making new friends with people that are moving to Thailand. And I also have friends that have lived in Thailand for ages and are really, really successful expats, have made a lot of money and have done so out here. Now I'm not saying that if you come to Thailand, your whole mission should be to make a load of money and to build, um, you know, big luxurious properties and to become rich or whatever, each to their own. You can do whatever you want. If you'd like to come to Thailand because you want to live on a budget, if you want to live on like a um, like a uh, retirement, that's absolutely fine. This is just my observations of what I've seen are the differences between people that are really, really successful as expats and people that really struggle as expats for many, many years. So the first thing that I see successful expats doing is smashing the like button. No, just kidding. They smash the subscribe button and the like button. No. <laughs> no, okay, serious. Okay, the first thing that I see successful expats doing is they don't have regular jobs, okay? Now, it's really, really rare that anybody that I meet out here who has made a lot of money, who has a really good lifestyle, has done so through having a regular job or even a regular business in Thailand for that matter. Almost every single person that I know who makes a lot of money, they do it online. Now, there are exceptions to this, but I probably know uh, one or two out of about 20 or 30 people that have actually made decent money owning a business out here in Thailand. I don't know anybody that uh, makes any decent money out here in a regular job. Now, not to say that regular jobs are bad, you can still come to Thailand and get a regular job. And I actually, for some people, I say that's actually a good idea. Um, come here, become an online teacher, do something like that. But the point is, if you want to build a good lifestyle for yourself out here in Thailand as an expat, um, you're probably not gonna do it by having a regular job or just you know, teaching in a school or something like that. The businesses that make the most money that I've seen are just really, really simple. They just pick one thing and they just do one thing really, really well. They don't overcomplicate it. They don't go to meetups every single week looking for new ideas. They just pick one thing, can be really, really simple, I know people that have made a ton of money just doing cold calling, okay? Just picking up the phone and selling something. They pick one thing, keep it simple, and they just do that, okay? You, that is one of the biggest pitfalls that I see people fall into out here is they wanna do so many different things and they overcomplicate everything. If you're gonna start an online business, you have to pick one thing and just focus on it. Like I said, you could be picking one thing and focusing on it whilst you're doing a, a job as a teacher or whatever, that's absolutely fine. 
but don't try to flip-flop between multiple businesses. I know lots of people out here that have been out here for probably close to a decade and have done nothing, have made no money online, have struggled the entire time. And the reason for it is because they cannot focus on one single thing. They have to overcomplicate everything and they cannot keep things simple. There's so much talk um, in like the digital nomad community about like passive streams of income and multiple streams of income and all that sort of stuff. And the big problem is with that is people trying to run before they can walk, okay? Like how can you build multiple streams of income if you can't build one stream of income, okay? And this is the big problem. This is kind of, everyone's been brainwashed into thinking, oh, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna become a digital nomad. I'm gonna move to Thailand. I'm gonna work online. Um, they've got that part right. You're not going to move to Thailand and make any money any other way. And then they go, well, I'm going to do this and I'm going to do this and I'm going to do this. And they either never decide what to do or they try to do multiple things and they never get anywhere of any of the things. Every single successful expat that I know doesn't do multiple things. They just have one thing. And it's usually very, very simple. It'll be like one guy might have an e-commerce store. Another guy might just have a cold calling business. Another guy might sell wholesale stuff. Another guy might be a YouTuber, whatever it might be, okay? So pick one thing, focus on one thing, um, and keep it simple. Don't flip-flop. If you do, you're just wasting your time. The third trait that I see that successful expats have that unsuccessful expats don't have is they're very, very patient and they don't give up, okay? So on this channel I've done, um, it's interesting, because all of the kind of like luxury house tours and and interviews and things that I've done on the channel with people that are successful out here, I always get in the comments people writing, oh, I bet their parents were really rich. Um, I bet they made loads of money on Bitcoin. Um, I bet they had like some kind of luck. And it's actually the complete opposite. Um, I don't really know anybody here that has a lot of money that come from a wealthy background. Okay, everybody that I know that's made a lot of money out here as an expat have made it from quite literally fuck all. They came here, they basically, all similar story amongst all of them. They came here, they were like on their last legs, worked their fucking asses off and built an online business, okay? Um, and the, the reason they're able to do that is because they were patient and they didn't give up, they didn't quit. It takes time to build a new life for yourself, especially in a foreign country, especially where you can't work a regular job like you can't in Thailand. Um, or if you did work a regular job, you'd be very underpaid, like being a teacher in a school or whatever. And so, you know, success, it just doesn't come overnight. You have to be really, really patient. You have to not give up and you have to kind of have an underdog mentality. Oftentimes people will come here because of the low cost of living. And like I said, right at the start of the video, I'm gonna start calling this the land of opportunity because to be able to move somewhere where your rent is $200 a month. It's just absolutely incredible, okay? Like, it gives you such a economic advantage over living in a Western country. And this is why there's so many success stories. This is why I meet so many successful people here, because they have so much opportunity, you know? If you only have to spend six, $700 a month to live, and you're out here, you've got all this free time, it's literally the perfect place to start an online business. I've seen it over and over and over again. People come here within five, 10 years, they're absolutely making bank, but only because they do these three things, okay? They don't come here and they don't get stuck in a regular job. They focus on one thing and they keep it simple. They're patient and they don't give up. Let me know, let me know in the comments, what are your plans for coming to Thailand? Do you want to come to Thailand to start an online business? Is that your reason for coming here? If it is, you have, you're seizing already on an amazing opportunity. Um, and if you need help with that, then make sure you check out my Digital Nomad framework right here, because that could actually benefit you on that journey. And also if you like this video, and if you want to watch something similar, then you're probably gonna really, really like this video. This is um, how to be a digital nomad in 2022 and hopefully that will get you off um, on the right foot that's all for me today guys and i'll see you in the next one